football is back. Oh yeah, baby, football is back, yo. After how many months? What is this? August is the eighth month. We had Super Bowl in the second. So it's been six months, technically. We've gone six months without football. I'm not counting the AAF because it was a failed venture, as much as excited I was for it. But football is back, y'all. The NFL preseason officially starts tomorrow on Thursday. And the Giants have the second game, I believe, if not the first, against the New York Jets, a preview of the Snoopy Bowl, which we actually have in the regular season this year also. And it's, it's the first hint of football. is the first football match we've had since the Super Bowl, man. I'm excited. The six months definitely went by faster than I thought it would. I mean, it's the same thing every year. It's like, it's a long off-season. But once the off-season is almost complete or they're complete, you know, it's like you, you go look back at it and think, hey, it wasn't wasn't too bad of a wait. Ah, and the Giants had a good off-season too, you know, they had a good draft. You already know my opinions on that. They had a good, relatively good free agency bout with trades here and there. In general, team improved. Uh, we added couple guys on offense couple guys on defense you already know that's not the point of this video the point of this video is well I guess to do my best and preview this preseason matchup for y'all and before I get into that I guess my feelings in general on the preseason are mixed I get the idea of it I very much understand the idea and the concept behind the preseason it's um, almost a bit like some exhibition games to get the players back into the flow of the NFL these practices and you know OTAs and training camps like Towards the end of training camps, they had the pads on and you could tackle a little bit, but it's nowhere near the tackling of an NFL game. So the, the point of the preseason is to get everybody back into that flow where wins and losses don't really matter. It's just about getting your body used to the violence of football again, used to the rigors of playing a full 60-minute game. And then even from that, it's kind of devolved. Like, you know, players don't play that much anymore and it's because the preseason is known for harboring injuries. You know what I mean? And that's where the mixed feelings from me come in. I get the idea of it, but there's so many injuries that happened in the preseason or like uh, precursors to injuries, you know, if not full on, you know, injuries on these guys. So it's like, it's kind of dangerous for some players to play in the preseason and it's, it's for them not to play. It's a good thing. You know, like I, to be honest, I don't really want any of our starters to play more than maybe one or two drives in, in this game. Definitely, I don't want Sterling Shepard to see the field at all. You know what I mean? I don't want any of these guys that had injury scares in the offseason to, to see the field at all. I, you know, let that happen for the regular season. So those are my feelings on the preseason. So with that being said, I'm not really looking for any starters. Um, what am I looking for in this game? I'm looking for Daniel Jones. I'm looking for DeAndre Baker, Dexter Lawrence, uh, O'Shane Zimenez. In general, our rookie class, and even a couple of second-year players, B.J. Hill, Lorenzo Carter, maybe Grant Haley, you know, like, the second-year guys, I'm looking for a little bit of something out of them, too, but I'm, I'm mostly looking for the rookies. I'm trying to see how the rookies have taken what they've learned and what they've improved upon in training camp, in OTAs, in the offseason, since entering an NFL organization. I'm trying to see how they use that and execute it on the field. Uh, Daniel Jones, in an interview, he's been on record saying, and other people on the team, they say like, you know, they believe that they've learned all they need to, to be ready for week one. Not saying that, oh, I don't need to learn anything else, but they believe they have enough, you know, enough of their talent and skill and enough of the uh, understanding of the play people would not to be ready for week one. But it's all about execution. And this right here is the playground for execution. I'm not looking for a win or anything, I'm looking to see progress out of these rookie players. And Jones is definitely going to be somebody I keep my eye on, for obvious reasons, being the uh, heir apparent right now to Eli, and also because while Shermer didn't out, came out right and say it, we're, we're supposed to expect a good amount of preseason snaps from Daniel Jones. I believe he's going to be the quarterback to get most of the preseason snaps. So I'm looking to see him prove a lot of doubters wrong, as y'all know. While I was confused about the pick at first, I did come out and support him like literally just hours after the draft. I'm a big supporter of Daniel Jones. I love the underdog story, but I also love what he does. Dexter Lawrence said in the same interview, this guy has talent and he deserves to be, he deserves to be here. And I want him to use this preseason 
as a chance to prove a lot of people wrong, even if it's just preseason. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward uh, for guys like Dexter Lawrence to prove their haters wrong, because there's a lot of people that say, why did we take a run stuff for 17th overall, that he wasn't even the best defensive tackle available. And that's arguable for now, because we're not going to see any of these rookie defensive tackles play uh, until, you know, the preseason and regular season. So until that happens, that's arguable. But I definitely think Dexter Lawrence is more of a run stuffer. I've said this before. He has a bit of inside pass rush talent to him. There was definitely quarterback scared of Dexter Lawrence when they were playing against him in Clemson. And that has something to do with the fact that when you play alongside Cleland Farrell, uh, Austin Bryant, and Christian Wilkins, you pick up a thing or two. And just in general, the Clemson program, you pick up a thing or two on how to get to the quarterback. It's not his strong suit, but he can do it. And I'm looking to see a little bit of that too. Offensive line, I'm not sure how long our starting offensive line is going to be out there for, how many drives are going to be out there for. Like, I don't want them to be out there too much, but at the same time, I do. Like, I don't want them to be out there because of injuries. Like, the offensive line, in my opinion, the most important part of the football team right now. And we got two of the big, the biggest pieces on that line, and Nate Solder and Mike Remmers are starting two tackles, coming back from surgery, coming back from injury. So I want them to very much be eased into football rather than, you know, throwing them into a preseason game. Like I said, I don't really expect them to play much time past like one or two drives. For those one or two drives, I'm going to see how they look on the field. I want to see how they're moving, how they're, you know, they're bending, how strong they are, you know, just in general. I want to see how they recuperate from the preseason. I want to see uh, how much improvement Will Hernandez has had. Uh, same thing with John Halpio on that injury note. He falls in the same line as Remmers and Solder. And I definitely want to see how Zeitler performs in this new system for him. Can I, you know, I can't stop singing praises about Kevin Zeitler. I truly believe we got him at like a steal. He's one of the best in the world at what he does. I want to see how he fits into the system. And I want to see how the backups do because eventually they're going to come in. And I want to see how our backups are. I'm not looking for world beaters in our backups. I'm just looking for serviceable guys that I can trust to come in for, you know, two to three games. At worst, if one of our starters are knocked out, that's what I'm looking for since they're going to be in there for the majority of the game. And this is a great team we're going up against in terms of uh, pass rush and defense. Uh, Greg Williams, I believe, is the Jets defense coordinator, whoever they are. They're known for sending a lot of pressure. They're known for just sending a ton of guys in the box trying to get to the quarterback. That's kind of the staple of this new look Jets defense. And so it's going to be a nice way to test out our new offensive line and our backups. Uh, obviously, we're going to see how Jones does as well. We're going to see with all the wide receiver problems we got going on, we're going to see how the backups do, how they step into this role, how they really shine in the light. I already got a video out on Benny Fowler. He's not he's not the only dude I expect to step up. I want to see how Cody Latimer has come back from in, his injury. In general, I just want to see how, people, how the people on our team, how the team as a whole have come together over the offseason during these preseason games. I'm not looking for wins. I'm looking for progress, and I'm looking for potential. So, I mean, I guess there's my uh, preview for the first Jets game. The main thing related to the game-wise would be the offensive line because of the type of defense we're going up against. I'm not going to sit here and try and predict uh, a score or anything because I'm not even going to try and predict a win. But um, that's what I got for you all. Let me know what you all think. Comment down below, like, share, subscribe. I'm out. You're...